Hi, welcome back. Today finds me hiking in an area known as the Masaroff, which is south of the town of Hallon in the Val de Pop. This particular area is often overlooked by hikers because we're surrounded by beautiful mountain peaks and this is a bit lower level and because there's so much variety here it tends to get overlooked. So I've decided to uh, explore here today and uh, see what it holds. As I say, I've not been in this particular spot so it's another new expedition for me. So let's see what we find. Well, this walk's another success so far. It's been absolutely glorious. I you know when I said that it's not used a lot by other hikers, uh, I couldn't be more wrong. I think I've passed about a dozen already and I'm only uh, 40 minutes into the hike. But this really is stunning here. Yeah, so I think uh, very shortly I've got a a sharp uphill section so that might uh, dampen my spirits a little bit we'll have to wait and see well I've come across another old ruin this is all taped off and you can see why it's uh, a deep well These always fascinate me as you look back through history and these ruins here are probably maybe 400 years old, maybe five, maybe longer. And you think, what were times like here those years ago? Well, the uphill section starts now. Although it's on a bloody good track though. Well, I've come off the path because uh, I saw this structure behind me here, which is an old dam. And I'm standing in the middle of what should be a, uh, a reservoir of some description, but it's bone dry. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't see it normally on the path. It's just that I was being a bit nosy as normal. And I've come down there to actually have a look at it. Quite impressive. Ooh. Well, I'm standing on that uh, wooden bridge. I'm not totally sure how long I'm going to stay here, mind you. Uh, I'm not sure how strong these logs are. So, uh, excuse me if I get off of here. <laughs> from the canyon floor but uh, as you'll see in a second all around me is a canyon wall and I'm not totally sure how much more I've got to climb to get out of it but uh, I suspect it's going to be quite a bit more
well finally out of the canyon that wasn't too bad actually uh, gradual incline coming up very very pretty now let's see if we can find the two restaurants up here and then we loop back We've just left the uh, restaurants, there's three of them there, back at that junction. I couldn't really talk much, as they've all got generators going, because there's no electricity up here. And a lot of their cooking is done on uh, open fires. So very rustic. As you can see in the distance there, there are the restaurants. And as I pan round here now, back towards Val de Pop in the distance we come across what I term my hidden valley here which I discovered probably six seven years ago didn't even know it existed Oh my god, look at the age of that olive tree. That has got to be over a thousand years old, that one. Absolutely stunning. It looks like it's actually two. Well, we're in the back end of the uh, hike now. Um, from here on in I think it's going to be pretty much on tarmac surfaces so which is great as I said before at the end of a hike where I love everything to make your life a little easier is always welcome well that was about 250 meter ascent well, we're at the back end of the hike now uh, probably got another kilometer and a half to go it's all pretty much on tarmac, so nice and easy. Let's have a look around here, it's absolutely gorgeous. This tarmac road I'm on, um, it's only for three or four houses that live in the back end here. Uh, newly resurfaced as well. Yeah, 10k, I think 250 meter ascent. Really good hike, no problems at all on it. A lot of scenery and, and real different um, type of environments as well from heavy woodlands canyon and out into the vineyards olive groves past some nice restaurants then back round in a loop to uh, 
where we started. So final leg coming up.